happy Friday everybody welcome back to my YouTube channel so today I just want to share with you um, Lucas's Christmas library um, we do have quite a few books um, so I'm not gonna go through all of them but I'm just gonna show you a lot of our favorites so the first book I want to share with you is this I Spy Christmas book it's actually an older version of it I believe it was my husband's when he was little um, yeah, so anyway, I really like this for Lucas because um, we can kind of go through it and he can identify some of the pictures. And I don't necessarily read the words, I'll just say, hey Lucas, find the present and he'll find the present. Or on some pages there's like, there's a train and I'll say, hey Lucas, find the train and he'll point to the train. So I really like this, it's associating him like Christmas items with the pictures, so that's, I, I believe it's teaching him a lot. So definitely on the recommendation list. These book blocks, um, this specific one is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, comes with 12 mini board books in here, and they're so, they're perfect for little hands, they're so tiny, and they're so like fast to read, like I think I can go through all 12 of the books in like 5 minutes. So Lucas definitely does stay entertained with this one. Um, also, we really like the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer story, but any of like the little, little books, um, even like we have these ones from the Dollar Tree, they're still pretty little for little hands. He likes to look through these and pretend he's reading a book to mommy. So next one I want to show you is this Frosty the Snowman. Um, this is Lucas's favorite. Um, every single time you hear the song on the radio, he gets excited. He asks for this book every single night at bedtime. Um, sometimes we read it maybe like five or six times, um, but definitely recommend this one as well. Um, and it's just, it's one of the classic Christmas songs that kids always enjoy, so. Alright, so another one of our favorites, obviously, because we have multiple copies, is The Night Before Christmas. Um, there's a lot of different versions of these, and we've just collected a few of them. <laughs> so, definitely recommend these as well. Um, and it, I definitely recommend making it more animated for your kids. Um, it just makes it a whole lot fun whole lot more fun for them and it's a lot of fun for me too to <laughs> really get into character. Alright so the next set of books that I want to share are our Christmas counting books. Um, we obviously have the 12 days of Christmas um, in two different versions and then we've got five Christmas penguins and Olaf's one two three. Um, this just kind of keeps the counting skill going, also keeping it with like the Christmas theme as well through the season. Um, so any counting books are awesome. So I am, am going to end up sharing all of my books, but I kind of did it, so like I'm grouping them, so I'm not going through every single one. Next set I want to share with you is our character book set. Um, any character that your child loves that has a Christmas book. I would definitely recommend buying it just because it gets them more excited to read about Christmas, gets them more excited to read, period. But they're all dog related and Lucas loves dogs. Well, the Snowman and the Snow Dog, I have to admit, is really sad. Um, it's really hard for me to read it. Um, I'm not going to give any spoilers, but if you've read it, then you kind of... I. I would hope you know what I'm talking about. Christmas in the Manger it kind of just goes through like the different characters that were at the nativity scene. Um, so that teaches them who was there. And then at the end, it just has a picture of a baby and it says, I am the reason for Christmas Day. So this is a very important book in my opinion um, if you're trying to teach your child about Jesus and the meaning of Christmas. Um, and then this one, it kind of is the same thing. It's a little bit of a longer story. It goes a little bit more in depth. <laughs> we got these The Legend of Stories by Lori Wahlberg and Rick Osborne. Um, I really enjoy these just because it gives a little bit more meaning to the symbols of Christmas like the candy cane or Christmas tree. Just things that you don't really think about having a specific symbol um, other than being part of Christmas. Um, but 
These are obviously part of Christmas. These symbols are part of Christmas, but there's a deeper meaning, a deeper religious meaning too. Um, and these books kind of point that out. I definitely recommend these. They also have other holidays as well, like they have Easter egg and they have Valentine's Day. I'm definitely going to be looking for those in the future, but these are probably at the very, very, very top of my um, recommended list. And anything that I'm recommending, I will link down below in the description. Um, they're probably going to be just from Amazon, um, but just so you guys can check them out as well. So my next recommendation is any Christmas collections. So this one, Lucas actually got from his grandma and grandpa for his birthday. Um, it has four cute little stories in it. Twas the Night Before Christmas is one of them. So the very last one I'm super excited about, and Lucas is super excited about it as well. He knew exactly what it was as soon as I opened the box from Amazon. But construction site on Christmas night. Um, this was slightly more spendy than I wanted to spend on a book, but it is brand new and it is hardcover and I, I know we are definitely going to get our money's worth out of it. We already have and we've only had it for like a week, but it's got that new book smell and <laughs> it makes my son extremely happy. So you know what? Price just does not matter. We have um, Mighty Mighty Construction Site and um good night good night construction site and we love both overall it's just an awesome book and our family absolutely loves them i also recommend the polar express and llama llama holiday drama and then someday we will own them anyway so that's all i have for you guys today hopefully this gives you some good recommendations for some christmas books for your kiddos um, and yeah, remember I will have most of my recommendations linked down below. Also make sure you guys subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more um, book recommendations. I also do lifestyle and cleaning videos so you don't want to miss out on that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!